for me, um, in 1999, I went to Japan during my export expeditions, and one of the things I realized at the time was that the Japanese depended so much on using their own local product, and that was the mobile phone. But I got back to Ghana and realized that Ghanaians were using other brands. The first question is, how do you create your own thing and make it your own? When do we need to be able to create employment and other things? And that informed the decision of starting and using the ICT as a part of creating a sustainable job. And you know, today's world, ICT is ruling the world. It's enormous. Looking at the ICT world, there's nothing you can do without using ICT. And the gadget where we all use to communicate and do a lot of things, save on the internet and all those things, has come to stay. So if you are looking for an opportunity to create opportunities for more people, that's the only path you can reach out. Hmm. And um, I think that this informed our decision to work that way. And that is why today we are seeing it as a functional tool that we are using to create a problem for it. Definitely beyond what we are doing in ICT in LNG, yes, there are other businesses that are there to create other opportunities and for me today is for RLG and I want to concentrate on RLG. <laughs> Sometimes you don't want to um, confuse your listeners, this is my language, to take them away from what we are trying to do. We are celebrating RLG 10 years of um, the fall and rise in the business sector and um, creativity with innovation the guest work that we've started with, hoping that it will become tangible, which we are now seeing it visible. Mm. The dreams that we propose in our lives, hoping that it will become a reality, is what we're seeing. And so other businesses here can create other opportunities, jobs and all that. But I want to focus on looking at how can the ICT as a tool that RLG have started with 10 years ago, what is it doing to change the lives of people? What are we trying to do today and beyond tomorrow? That tomorrow, Ghanaians will wake up one morning and see that a brand has been born and a company came into fusion 10 years and what they are able to do. Mm. It's a revolution. Um, this is an African thing. We want to also see the African technology and export it to the rest of the world. You think about Ghana and Africa at large, everything, everything we think about is the natural resource that God has given to us. But beyond the natural resource, how are we taking advantage of the talent that has been enormously created in the African side? Talent of growing an empire using ICT as a tool which is more in an advanced stage where it's visible everywhere. Is of relying on only the natural resources. Mm. The natural resources at a point in time can be depleted, it can get finished, and any disaster can take away your natural resources. But ICT remains in the human being. It's a resource that can never be taken away. There's nothing that can take an ICT away from our minds or whatever we do today. And it's globalizing the world, it's making the world smaller. So we want to make charter the path for Africa and make Africa another uh, history in African life that today we can also be part of the ICT world and grow ICT and use the talent of the African child to be able to export it to the rest of the world. And that is why we want to focus our attention in charting that path. So now you're in Gambia, you are expanding to a few other countries as you mentioned, but what is it like going regional, going, you know, maybe even continent-wide. There are lots of business people who are listening to us this morning who have similar ambition, that they want to grow their businesses and conquer new markets, but they can't seem to fathom how to achieve it. What is it like going regional, getting out of, you know, uh, uh, the boundaries of your country with all the language and currency and cultural difficulties out there? Business is spoken in one language. What you do in one particular country. Of course, there are culture barriers, but I can tell you the African is almost the same. You can actually think global, but you act local. That is what allergy does. We ensure that wherever we find ourselves in the West African sub region or in any part of the world, we try to localize ourselves, but we still have a mindset of globalizing. 
and we look at the environment and try to penetrate using the local tools, the marketing thing that has already been established, the terrain, and bring in more creativity to open up more opportunities in that market. The other thing is, you should take away fears in business. Once you are uh, brave enough to take a decision that this is a guesswork, as I stated earlier on, but you want to succeed in it, there's no point being afraid or trying to think that other countries will not. And interestingly enough, 